Hey all, welcome to the Institute and this week's acquisition report. Yeah, it's a day early, but I thought since we didn't do a uh, favorite collection this week, I'd just jump on in and do a, a, a acquisition report. I don't plan on getting anything additional tomorrow. So, what the heck, it's the Thursday acquisition report. And there's 10 new items. The first four aren't going to be super exciting. Uh, I know, we're getting an awful lot of these Bob's Burgers, uh, little uh, danglers, backpack danglers. But I've gone back and decided to try to be a completist with these, sadly. I think I'm all done now. This is the wave that came with Nat. I had picked up Nat before, uh, the limo driver. But these four are the, the uh, other variations from the family that came in that wave. So I picked those up. At least I think so. I'm going to go back and check now just to make sure I've got everything. Those are the first four. Number five is really one I've been really looking forward to. I know not everybody else cares, especially since it's just a variation on the Earl Sinclair we got before. But this is his work outfit uh, with his We Say So jacket on. He's got his lunchbox with some of his food in it. I got the chance now to have both heads swapped in so that we have the regular head on the first version and this head on the new version. And yes, I have ordered my... Uh, uh, San Diego Comic-Con version of Earl as well to add in there. We never, may never get the rest of the family, but at least we'll get some Earl variations. So let's see, that's already half, five of the uh, ten. The other five here, I don't know about you, but I've been looking forward to these guys. Remember we got uh, Dozer here back a while ago from the new Fraggle Rock line from Boss Fight Studios. Now, shipping this week was Cotter Pin and the Architect. They came as a two-pack. You got uh, Gobo. They all have alternate heads as well. Got Red. And uh, they have some nice articulation. Some various accessories, each one of them. And Uncle Traveling Matt, which was the only disappointment for me. This is my favorite figure of the bunch. You'll notice they kind of go nicely with the Palisades figures. They're a little bigger. You know, there's red next to a couple of the Palisades. They're a little bigger. They're certainly more articulated. The problem is uh, for Uncle Traveling Matt, you'll notice he doesn't have his backpack on, which is a bummer. I wanted him to have his backpack on, but it does not fit well at all. Tried using a hairdryer. The holes on his jacket and the hole in his back just don't line up, and they're a little too small for the post. So I'm a little disappointed there. But otherwise, good job so far from Boss Fight Studios. I hope we get some more of these. I don't think any more of them have gone up for pre-order, but I have my fingers crossed. So there we go. A short three-minute acquisition report. That's pretty good. So until Monday when I'll do another top 10, I hope you're having a great week. I hope you have a great holiday for those in the United States. And uh, I hope your collecting is going well. Make sure you subscribe and I'll talk to you on Monday.